once that is done and here I have just uh, cleared the queue and I have added new items so that we can process all of these items available right here moving back to the code I'll just click on debug with that as you can see it was able to launch the desktop application and then it is trying to fetch an item from the queue this is Ranjit this time if I just click on refresh so it's in, in progress continue so it is trying to enter the data into it and it's reached it has cleared it it should display us a message saying it was able to fetch the information right let's go back to the code and here I have kept a breakpoint so it has stopped here step into so these are the values that it was able to fetch okay then step into and it is trying to get the information from the orchestrator here it is trying to send the email right now okay done so it was able to send the email to that particular user just click on step into step into see what's happening here so because this was successful it is out of that process workflow and you can see there is an email that I have received with the following information hi this is the obtained marks this is the grade this is the percentage and this is the GPA regards robot and this is the subject for that and if you're facing any troubles with the sending of email go back to your account click on manage your Google accounts and then move ahead to security tab and just try to turn on this less secured app access so this will allow your robot to have the access permitted with that you'll be able to work with the email moving back to the code if I just click on step into we'll try to go into the set transaction state as we already know because it was successful it was moved to this success thing from here as you can see there's a validation if in transaction item is not nothing and the transaction type is Q item then it will try to set the value to there are a lot of so this is the activity that you will be able to find in your activities just type transaction and here set transaction status to this this comes default with the RE framework and here you have to pass if it's successful because it has come into successful we are setting it successful and the transaction item we have to pass so that it can set that status to that particular transaction item only okay so this is into this and then step into just trying to go over there it will log all the settings all the logs and step into see it is incrementing the transaction so once that is done it has come back to the get transaction data and it is trying to pick the second transaction available just click on continue switch it and it is trying to enter the second data reached so now it will try to fetch the information I have to click on continue because there is a breakpoint right there okay so now I should receive a second mail here is the second mail related to Sujit okay the bot was able to send his information over the email now similar to that just click on continue and it is taking the third transaction 
so it was about the whole flow so this was about the mechanism as you can see it has started from here it was a, it has launched the application and then it was trying to get the transactions from the queue from there it has sent to this to process it and once it is able to process it there are three ways into which it can go this is successful and if we have any business exception it will go to this so it will reach out to the next transaction but if it's a system exception here you can see if the transaction type is nothing and it is of queue type the queue retry is being incremented as you can see it's failed earlier we have set it to successful but here it's failed okay and the retry number is set to that particular count and here we are trying to log it and then we are inside this if i just go over here right now for us if we open the configuration file it's zero so it will just increment and it will go away okay and you might be confused whether if it will be retried okay it totally depends on what you have set in your queue okay if i just move back to queue and open the settings of it right here you will see the max retries when we have defined the queue we have defined the max retries as one but if you have mentioned it as two or three or four it would have retried that many times okay whenever it fails right it will try to add a transaction again a fresh transaction whichever has failed to this particular queue so instead of five if this has failed it will be added again this will be set to failed but there is an another item being created with the same details of this transaction so that is how it works so in case of failure in success it is going to pick the second in the business exception it will pick the second transaction but here if it's a system exception it has to go right here and then it has to it will not read the configuration file again but because we don't know where we were struck so it will try to launch the excel application again which is the desktop application okay to do that make sure that whenever a transaction fails right you have to invoke the kill activity the kill xaml every time just use kill process in your business exception okay and instead of this okay we have a xaml available to us in the frameworks kill process pull that place here and go into it it should be empty right now take a kill process and right here you can pass just go to task manager and details and search for that application here it is so it's excel cult mark sheet pass that name right here excel cult mark sheet and this will close all the applications that are already opened and do the same okay as a best practice what we have to do is if it's the first time we are trying to run this flow it will be going through this particular flow right so here also we have kill processes so this will be run first time because we have to keep the environment clean so if this application is already open before the robot is triggered it should close all the applications okay so that is the main purpose of kill so with this we are done with the flow